All right, you guys, so I recently went to the bins as in a few days ago and I got over 50 pounds worth of stuff. So let's just dive right into this thrift haul. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and occasionally Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, Depop. And like I said in the intro, this is a Goodwill bins haul. If you've never been to the bins or don't have one in your area, it's a Goodwill store where you pay by the pound. They roll out these really big bins and it's kind of just a free for all. And um, sometimes you get lucky and find a lot of good stuff. Um, this is a really solid bins haul. Great bread and butter, all of my favorite brands, um, a few new ones. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. I got over 50 pounds worth of stuff. Um, so first, let's talk about this one bag of things. I weighed this and cashed out with this bag separately um, because I wanted to know exactly how much it was gonna be for this. And this whole bag, um, was 12 and a half pounds, so I paid like $25, and it's chock full of ugh, LOL dolls, if you can see in there. They have the big teenager ones and the normal small ones, um, and I'm gonna lock all of them up and probably auction them off on eBay, um, and see what they go for. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them because there's like 100 in there and it took me a considerable amount of time to get them all out of the bin they were all in one big trash bag um, but the trash bag was very flimsy and it ripped in quite a few places so i couldn't easily get it out so i basically had to dig in the bins and try to grab as many dolls as possible there were a bunch of accessories in there too but i didn't want to fuss with those so i just grabbed dolls but yeah 25 dollars for that big bag of lol dolls my daughter used to collect them so i know that people still like them and with Christmas coming up, I figure maybe someone will want, you know, a pre-owned huge lot of dolls. Um, so there we go. Then I got three books and they're all for me. Um, I think I spent $2 for these three books um, because the media is 50 cents a pound, uh, textiles and everything else is $2 a pound at the New Hampshire bins, which is where I go. I got this Prince Harry book. I've been wanting to read that. Um, I got a friend's guide to adulting book, um, RIP Matthew Perry. That's for me as well. Well, like I said, all three of these are. And then I got a Harry Potter pop-up book. It's like a little kitty book, to be honest, but I thought it was cool. So I'm gonna add it to my Harry Potter collection shelf. And then to my right is my brand new giant Hulkin bag um, that's full to the brim, literally. Hello, Clove. Um, of everything else that I got from the bins. So let's get into that. So first is this hat. Um, it was very unassuming. It was actually stuck in another hat, like a Red Sox hat um, from the brand 47, who does a lot of like sports team stuff. Um, but this is actually a Stetson hat. This is Rodeo Drive collection by Stetson. I've never found or sold Stetson. Um, so I did have to look it up. Comps aren't what I thought they were going to be, to be honest, but I should still be able to get about $40 for this. This is a size extra large brown leather hat. It's got a few marks of wear, um, but otherwise it's in fairly good condition. So we'll see how that goes. I did get a few pairs of shoes. I'm trying to roll my Hulk in closer to me. Um, so these are a pair of Chacos. I've never sold this style before. I know Chacos has kind of fallen out um, a little bit as of late, but these are a size nine, which is my size, but this is not a style that I will probably wear. Um, and I only found one of these in a bin and some kind gentleman had the other one and he just gave it to me. Um, then I also found this pair of Coach like platform flip-flops. Uh, these are a size eight um, and they're in pretty good condition that's the only reason i really pick them up i don't often pick up coach shoes um but yeah they look pretty decent i know it's not the season for them anymore but that's fine neither it's not the season for the chacos either 
And then I found, I'm surprised nobody grabbed these because they were both in the same bin. Um, these are Ariat. Don't mind my nails, they need to be redone. Uh, there's the Ariat symbol. Um, and these are like a slide on clog mule with the little, little tassels right here. And these are a size nine and a half. I do really well with Aria in all types of conditions, even the jeans as well. I've never sold like shirts or anything like that, but the jeans and the boots or shoes do really well for me. And then these, um, so when I went through the shoe bin, it was the last shoe rotation I think that we were there for. Um, I grabbed one fry boot and one Birkenstock shoe. And the, there was another lady who had, I knew had the fry boot because she was asking if I had seen it and I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, but then I found it in a different bin. Um, she was looking for this red boot. Um, and she came over to me because she saw that I had that. And she also had the other Birkenstock. So she asked me which one I wanted out of the two. And I picked the fries, even though they are a small size, they are five and a half, um, but they're in really good condition. Um, and I know fry is sometimes a hard sell and live with the small size. They'll probably sit for a while. Um, but the Birkenstock, they were like a green color and definitely not the season for those. Whereas we are in boot season. So I figured I would grab these anyways, but yeah, here's the little fry logo. Um, so that was nice of her to ask me which one I wanted instead of telling me which one she wanted. Um, and then we just swapped. Um, I picked up a few pieces of jewelry. They're all bracelets. They're all Alex and Ani. They were just inside like a little tiny Ipsy bag. Um, and I had opened it up when I saw it because I knew there was something in there. I was hoping it was money, but no, jewelry. Um, so I picked out these Alex and Ani from there. I'm not expecting a bunch. This one says, because I am a girl. Um, this one says, granddaughter. This one has like a monkey or something hanging from it uh this one has little blue crystals and then this one's gold with a flower and it's more like a wrap style versus the others um so and i put them in a little ziploc bag so i didn't lose them all right this needs a good soak and wash but this is a kate spade insulated um lunch bag this says out to lunch over here in the middle um, I was surprised no one picked this up. It's just a little bit sticky on the outside. So there's the Kate Spade tag on there. This is going to the booth. I just sold a almost identical one. It was just a different shape. This is a live edge wood bowl. So it still has like the bark here on the rim, but no maker or anything. Just pick that up for the booth, like I said. Um, so this I saw in a hard goods bin and I knew what it was because of watching, um, Chris, the Cajun reseller. He finds a lot of these. It's not going to go for a whole lot, but I wanted to try it out anyway. This is Folk Manis and it is a raccoon puppet. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but it's very lightweight. It's not like it cost me a whole lot. This is the only plush that I got. It's from a brand I'd never heard of, but the comps looked decent, $25, $30, which for a bins item is fine by me. The brand is Mulan Roti. I might be butchering that, um, but there is the tag. It seems like the animal ones do better. This one's not an animal. It's a little, a little kid, Ooh, floppy head, um, but I figured I'd still try it anyways. And then I grabbed this Cafe Du Monde um, from New Orleans plastic cup. I don't know if this is vintage or not, um, but I have been there. So um, that's staying here. I did get one bag and it was in a clothing bin. So I'm assuming that's why it wasn't grabbed because it's in really good condition. This is a fossil bag. Um, it's just black leather. Like I said, really good condition. Even the inside looks nice. It's just black. Yeah. Crossbody, so I will get that listed soon. I do really well with fossil leather. Um, just found this and I'm going to bring it with me on the cruise in case I go like snorkeling or something. Um, but this is a little travel on 
um, pouch for your phone and it has like a little life vest basically in there so that it probably floats. Um, but yeah, like I said, I might use this for my phone so it gets protected. And then I think, I think everything else that I'm about to show you is closed. So like I said, a lot of bread and butter, most of my favorite brands that I love to find. Sadly, no Johnny was this time, but I think I'm gonna do pretty well. So let's get started. This is just a personal thing. Um, I don't even know what the brand is. It looks like SG, um, but here's what it looks like in case you are familiar. I don't know. It just says, gaining and maintaining so i'm just going to use this as like a workout shirt because it's in pretty rough condition with stains and stuff obviously i'm going to wash it um but i thought that would be easy to just sweat in and i don't have to really worry about it um this is another um, kind of like active shirt this is from the barbell cartel comps on this look decent for what it is a t-shirt it's a size large and it just says the barbell cartel. Most of you guys know by now that I love the activewear. It's my favorite section to source from. I'm gonna move over a little bit and fix my hair um, so that you guys can see the clothing better. This is a brand I haven't found in a while. Um, it is size inclusive and I believe they are just a plus size brand if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is universal standard. This is a 2XS. So this is probably their smallest size. Um, but it's just a basic t-shirt. It's like a lilac-y purple color. Um, I think they're called the T-Rex, their tees. It's been a while since I found one. Um, but yeah, love those. The fabric is so soft. All right, these next two pieces were found in the last rotation of clothes that we did. Um, I went with my friend Jess, who I've been going to the bins with. Um, and yeah, we got there opening for seven and we left at like 1.45. So that was the longest we'd been to the bins together. Um, but yeah, I found these two in the last clothing rotation. They're both the same size, so I can only imagine they're from the same human being. Um, the brand is Good American size six or 28 and honestly all of the good stuff that i picked up on this bins day were in bins that people already looked through um like multiple people had already looked through so that's your cue or your tip if you go to the bins look through the bins that other people have looked through even if you're not confident that you'll find anything i always find stuff that people miss or that people just don't want to pick up not everybody sources the same items these are a skinny jean, which I know skinny is not the greatest, but I love good American jeans and they always sell really well for me. I just sold a pair for, I think $50 in the last couple weeks. Um, this pair is just, like I said, the same size and it's blue, but these have a step hem at the bottom, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and I like that they have like darkening around the pocket. So those, right there should pay for the whole haul. Uh, I grabbed an Athleta bag. I always pick these up, Lululemon Athleta um, from the bins and I just include them with Poshmark purchases because they're paying for five pounds so it doesn't matter if I add a little bag to it. Uh, this is a brand that I haven't, I haven't picked up in a while um, and I'd only pick it up at the bins. This is Neon Buddha. Um, I've never sold pants from them before, which these are like a waffle knit kind of legging, uh, size medium, but I have sold a few of their jackets. They're like a straight leg waffle knit sweatpant, so maybe $30 if I'm lucky on that. This is Athleta. Um, this is a size extra small. Most of you guys know what Athleta looks like at this point. Um, this is from um, fall of 21, so it's fairly recent. And it's just a sweatshirt with zips on each side. I think there's one there too. Yeah, so extra small Athleta. This is a brand I love to find. Um, they sell a lot of basics and I can get almost close to retail almost every time I sell it. This is American Giant. You've probably heard me mention this brand before. 
This is a women's medium. Here's the label. And this is a lightweight full zip hoodie. Again, they sell a lot of basics. I've never seen a pattern from this brand. They're always just solid colors. I've sold a lot of the heavier weight um, hoodies from them. I've sold t-shirts from them. It all does really well, so I always pick it up. All right, this was also in the last rotation, a different bin from the Good American Jeans, but I picked it up and it felt nice and I was surprised to see um, what brand it was, to be honest, because uh, like I said, all these bins were bins that people had already gone through and this was on my Brands to Manifest in 2023 um, list, so I guess I get to cross this off. I have found it once before. It was on that list, the brands that I found once before but wanted to find again. And this is Kim Kardashian's brand, Skims. It's probably hard to read that tag because it's tone on tone. Um, but this is a size extra large. And it's a green bra. Nothing crazy. It's not an underwire bra. It's just like more like a bralette. Um, so we'll see how that does. The only other time I found Skims, it was a pair of sweatpants and they sold for I think like 70 or $80. So I was really happy with that. All right, I did get some shorts and I know it's not shorts season, but that's fine. I list things all year round. It does not matter. People live in warm climates. These are a size 28 from PacSun. And these are like a mom style short. Um, I think that's what they are. Yeah, mom short size 28 black denim they're in good condition so why not um, there was a bin full of ties I looked through them to try and find a designer tie um, I only found this one this is Escada which I just got a pair of Escada pants in a thread up DIY designer box um, but this is just a blue tie it doesn't have like the fabric content anywhere on the tie so they're easy to list and store, so I'm not worried about it, even if it sits for a while. Um, these are Madewell shorts, and they are pretty recent. These are size medium. Another label you guys probably know. And they are like a baggy, long short. Um, I don't know when they're from, because the newer tags, which this is, um, they just have like the little QR code on the back of the tag instead of the date. Um, but they're probably from within the last year or so, possibly even this past summer season. Jess found these and gave them to me. They need a little bit of love um, from a sweater shaver, but at Ben's prices, it's a yes. These are Gymshark, size extra small, but like as you can see on the waistband, hopefully... There's a little bit of filling there that needs some attention, but people love Gymshark, so grab these. These have the little, the little uh, darkening underneath the butt cheeks, so it makes your butt look bigger. Uh, these are American Eagle Next Level Stretch, and these are the Curvy High Rise Shorty in a size 18, which is why I picked them up. They also have an exposed button fly, which I personally like. Um, but yeah, mall brands do really well for me and especially so in the larger sizes. So that was a yes. Speaking of mall brands, I grabbed this as well. I thought maybe the child would want it, but she did not. This is Abercrombie and Fitched Soft a &F Collection Size Large. And this is a V-neck tie-dye sweatshirt it's super soft as the name implies okay this was a good find these are also my size but i'm not going to keep these because i don't do the booty short thing um, but i saw a pair of um well i saw this pair of shorts and i saw this right here in the bin and i knew it was lululemon and so i turned them around and found the little logo on the back these are a size eight the shorts from Lulu usually do pretty well for me. I don't know if these are the hottie hot or a different style, but happy to pick up Lululemon in the bins. And there's a couple more pieces somewhere in here. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find 
what was possibly in this bag, but I did pick up this, the real, real bag. Um, I will send these with some posh orders if I have like a higher priced item. Um, always like to pick those up. This is a brand I've never found before and I couldn't believe that I found it in the bin. Uh, it does need a lot of stain treatment. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but for $1.28, which is the average cost of goods when I took the total I spent, besides the dolls, um, the total I spent on everything else divided by the number of items, I got close to 50 items, I think, and spent $51, so it was $1.28 per piece. Um, so this is Filson, a genuine Filson garment, size extra large. Here's what the tag looks like. I've never sold Filson, never found Filson. I know it does pretty well. This is just a very lightweight, like plaid flannel shirt. I think it's women's, so we'll find out about that. This I wasn't sure of, but Jess told me to grab it because it's corduroy. This is J. Crew, regular J. Crew, not factory, size 27. And this is a button front corduroy mini skirt um this was really this was really cute but yeah i wasn't sure because i don't normally sell much j crew if it was a smaller size i maybe would have asked the child if she wanted it but she, i don't think she'll fit that this is another pair of packs on short size 24 these are just the high rise short not the mom short and they're itty bitty Again, I thought maybe the kid would want them if she doesn't and they don't sell. They'll probably go to Plato's Closet. All right, this is a brand I don't often pick up either, um, but these are Adriano Goldschmied or AG and these are the Sophia Vintage High Waisted Skinny. Um, they're in like unworn condition, slight distressing. Um, but yeah, they, they honestly don't look like they ever were worn or saw the inside of a washer. So grab those. Okay. This brand I have hit or miss luck with, mostly miss, but this is a dress and I have never tried to find, well tried to sell rather, um, a dress from this brand. So I thought maybe I would try it out. This is Outdoor Voices size medium. And it's just a black active wear dress kind of like a fit and flare style so we'll see how that goes here's a pair of lululemon leggings these are a size six i think these are called like the run inspire or something like that i sold a lot of lululemon but sometimes the styles all blend together they have like a little bit of mesh here on the back um, this is a triangle bag. It's like neoprene, kind of like the triangle bathing suits if you're familiar. Um, sadly, I didn't find the bathing suit. Um, here is the tag, hopefully. Triangle um, without the E, but the bags sell for maybe like 15-ish, so I decided to pick that up. All right, this next piece might end up at Plato's Closet. I recently went to Plato's and dropped off a bunch of stuff for the first time in literal years. Um, and they took all of my men's Under Armour, um, which is what this is. So I decided I'd grab it. And if I list it and it doesn't sell, I'll just end up bringing it to Plato's when it gets closer to the spring and summer. Um, this is heat gear, size large, men's piece. It's just a lightweight hoodie, nothing crazy. We're almost done. I can see the bottom of my Hulkin bag. This I grabbed for the kid, but she ended up not wanting it, so I will just list it. It's Airy, size extra small. Airy's made by American Eagle, if you didn't know. They have a lot of like active wear stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a very oversized sweatshirt with a little pocket. This I'm gonna save, but you guys won't have to wait too long because there's not much left in here. Um, okay, this is a brand I used to send to the Real Real, uh, but haven't found it in quite a while. And also, I don't sell on the Real Real anymore. But like the AG jeans, which these were found in the same bin, um, these look like they've never been worn or seen a washer. So this is three by one NYC. These are a size 27. I think these are a skinny, but they have like the raw released hem. 
I love them. I think they're awesome. Um, they were cuffed when I found them in the bin, but I uncuffed them. So that's those. Uh, this was one of the first things I found, and it is flawed, but I still grabbed it anyways. Um, this is a denim brand that I love to find. This is a Goldie size, I think 25. And they are distressed high-rise shorts, um, but I don't know if you caught it. They are missing the button here, so whoever owned them put a little pin here, but I think someone can replace it, no problem. Um, and they do have the hidden button fly. Uh, this I think is another J Crew piece. Yeah, this is J Crew size extra small. Um, I've grabbed this because it's alpaca blend. Um, but let me see when it's from holiday of 2021. So fairly recent and it's like a fair isle print with kind of like a bubble sleeve here but yeah the alpaca is what sold me on that all right i think that's just like three pieces left and these are my favorite three pieces okay so this was in i think the first bins that were there when we first arrived um but it was like the last bin that i looked at so it had been out for probably close to an hour by the time i got to this bin and i felt it and it felt really nice and then I saw this right here and I was like, oh, please tell me that's a Lululemon. And then it took me a while to find it, but it's the little metal logo. And I couldn't figure out what the heck this thing was. I even asked Jess and she took a picture and then searched on Google to find it for me. I forget what it's called, um, but it is a cashmere blend. We did find that out, but yeah, it took us like, 10 15 minutes probably to figure out how this was supposed to go um, because there are two buttons here and then it buttons together to make kind of like a faux sleeve but it is yeah a cashmere blend like wrap sweater so this is where the arms go right here i will try to insert the photo um on the screen so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about this was in I think if not the last rotation we did but the second to last and I was surprised to see this um, I saw this material and was like oh that would be awesome if it was Chanel it's not but it is st. John collection not something I normally pick up because I personally think it's ugly um, but ugly does sell this is a size 10 and it is I think a blazer a jacket I, I don't know what the difference is it has very light shoulder pads here um, but yeah the fringe is kind of like a tweed material here at the pockets the cat is driving me mental today um, but yeah we'll see how that does and then the last thing I have to share with you I think mm, yeah I do I did have something else but I think it's probably stuck Oh, no, never mind. It fell out. Okay, so here's the second to last thing. This is Bonobos. It's, I think, a, mostly a menswear brand, though I do think they have women's stuff. Um, this is 100% silk, and it's a bow tie. Um, I found this in a bin and just decided to pick it up. Bonobos usually sells really well for me. I don't know how much this will go for, but I grabbed it anyway. Okay, and here's the last item. Um, I put a tiny little hole in this because this was a store pull, which means at the bins that it had a tag from the Goodwill store, which happens to be next door at this location. Anyways. Um, so that means it didn't sell in the Goodwill store next door and then they pulled it and brought it into the bin um, And when I took that tag off, I put a little tiny hole in it, but it's right on a seam and you'll never know this there um, But this is new with tags From nap I get ads for this all the time on Instagram and Facebook and it's pretty expensive this hoodie probably retailed over a hundred dollars um, It's I don't know what size a size small um, it doesn't have the name or the retail price on here, but I wasn't going to leave this. And it's just just a gray, not hoodie, it's just a sweatshirt. Very like wide and boxy fit. Um, and it does have like a little cincher down here and a pocket. So gray nap hoodie for 
a dollar twenty eight um yeah i'm happy about that so um that's my haul guys at 51 i think i spent 51 dollars on the clothing and shoes and then i spent like 25 and change on the lol dolls so over 50 pounds worth of stuff um almost 50 items i think if we just talk about the clothing and shoes and then uh, like a hundred and something dolls so pretty good day uh, a nice bread and butter day the brands that i really like to find um not every bins day is a you know blowout winner um like that day where i found the two johnny was piece pieces which have sold both for over a hundred dollars um, but i think there's quite a bit of profit in this haul right here next to me so i really gotta get listing but that's it for today's video guys um i still have two more bins trips to hit my goal for the year um so i gotta get those in hopefully before christmas rolls around if not i'll probably be going on the weekend of new year's um but we'll see how that goes so i gotta get this stuff listed like i said i've been slacking but i've been trying to on instagram this week um, post a to-do list every day so that I can kind of keep myself accountable. I don't always get everything done. Usually there's like one thing that doesn't get done on my to-do list. Um, and today is the day before Thanksgiving. So I am off work and well, I took the day off. I'm not off work. I took it off. Um, so I have a lot to do the kids in school right now while I'm filming this and um, you guys will be seeing it the day after Thanksgiving so I really really hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your friends family or just by yourself however you decided to spend the holiday if you're Canadian or from another part of the world that doesn't have Thanksgiving this week um, hi how are you thank you for coming um if you're canadian though i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving when you had it earlier um this year um but yeah that's it for this haul guys thank you so so much for watching this episode of friday thrift finds hopefully it's not too bad going you know every other week instead of every week it's just it's a lot easier for me to get the videos out in a timely fashion without feeling like I am overwhelmed. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you think that I did well with this haul or maybe let me know what your favorite item was from this haul. I would love to hear about it or your experience selling some of these brands, especially the things that I have no experience with. That's always super helpful and you can always, you're always helping people out in the comments down below as well, not just myself. Um, but other than that, if you're not already subscribed and you like reseller content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.